Goodness gracious, I might give a f on no rare okay shit. Yo, look who it is. A person from some random place on earth that clicked on this video to come see Baby J. If you don't know who I am, now you do. My name is Jay Lynn, but people call me Baby J. And if you somehow like annoying ass motherfuckers that yell a lot, then you might want to press the subscribe button right now and follow me on all my social medias because today, your favorite astrologer, your favorite psychic baby that's a little bit red shit, a little bit, is going to talk about what I dislike, really dislike about your zodiac sign. And I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. I'm gonna tell it like it is. You know, I got that Sagittarius rising, so I'm gonna make sure I come off really nice and blunt. And so some signs I really like you guys and sometimes I really don't like some of you signs but we're gonna just focus on your negative traits today we're gonna get real raw and uncut <laughs> and I'm so sorry if I offend any of you but I really am not because I don't know who you are and you click this video right also for the people that don't believe in the zodiac and are just like here why? Why are you here if you don't fuck with this shit or don't believe it and then you're gonna try to comment something like the Zodiac doesn't exist. No, this shit is all fake. I don't know why people believe in it. Why are you here? Like, don't forget, look at your full chart. This is just your sun sign that I'm going off of. Sun sign, use your personality. You know, if you're August 14th, you're a Leo. Baze, baze, baze. You're, you have a rising moon and sun look at all that shit and that's really gonna show a lot about your personality and then your whole chart in general just like yeah like so cool just check it out astrology you want me to get into that later in another video like a deeper understanding of astrology from my perspective then yeah totally comment down below if you want to see that feel free to comment down below any of your opinions on what the fuck i had to say throughout this video and if you agree if you don't agree and if you want to uh fight me catch me outside how about that that would be unfortunate if I recorded this whole video with a booger in my nose. The fucking Virgos in the fucking house are gonna all be like, ah, ah, she has a booger in her nose. <laughs> perfection, perfection. We we might as well just get started, right? I, I started talking shit about Virgos, so let me just start to continue with the Virgos. Yeah, y'all are super critical. Like every every Virgo I know is like, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. It has to be perfect, it has to be perfect, it has to be perfect. and it drives you guys crazy, and I'm just like, you wonder why you're so crazy, and it's because you just overanalyze every single freaking thing. I think the right word would be conservative, because I know a lot of people would like um, Virgo in certain placements, like not like the sun sign, but different signs, and sometimes they can definitely come off very conservative and very like, oh no, bougie. And not going for it, not here for it whatsoever. Y'all need to get y'all light together and stop being such a prick. Like the Virgo guy in the room is like, I don't like when my girl farts. Bitch, it's a human fucking reaction to your food being digested and we all do it. Shut the fuck up. Here's Aries. Hey boo, how you doing? Y'all are impulsive as fuck. And it's almost like you just don't fully grasp how impulsive you are. It's like an Aries sees everything that they're doing. And if, no matter how fucked up it is, in the moment they're just like, what do you mean? When they're in that mode, it's just like, yeah. Uh, I don't give a fuck about anybody's feelings except for mine. Oh, and it's another thing. Aries are fucking stubborn as shit. I legit cannot stand it. I dated a fucking Aries for two years and he literally almost got a disease that could have killed him and he wouldn't listen to me when I told him to go to the fucking doctor because he's a fucking Aries. <laughs> and it takes literally that much, that much like, oh shit, maybe I should listen to you. If they don't see that it's a good thing to do, they're not gonna do it. Bitch, sit the fuck down and listen to somebody else for once, okay? Thank you. And also Aries is just like, why are you so angry all the time? Like, I feel like y'all are always snapping about something and then the next moment it's like nothing even happened. Like, what is that? Like, oh, do not get me wrong, I love Geminis. I love talking to Geminis, I love having a conversation with Geminis. But baby, the more I'm seeing it, I know people are gonna say, I know what people know I'm about to say, but I'm about to say, I'm gonna just do it. Fake. Fake. Yeah, I've seen a lot of Gemini switch the fuck up real motherfucking quick. Y'all can be saying one thing and then the next moment you're saying another thing. Y'all can be feeling some type of way 
and then next thing you know, you don't feel a type of way. Y'all could be, you know, enjoying a moment between somebody and the next thing you don't even like that person no more because you just don't fuck with them. I feel like every person on earth has an evil side to them, has negative traits to them, but it's like when it comes to Geminis, that evil side to them is just more put up into the forefront sometimes. Y'all can be very not consistent and as a Taurus moon, I cannot deal with that whatsoever. It's like if you sit here and you're saying you're going to do this and you're going to be here and you're going to be like this and the next thing you know you're scurrying off somewhere else, I can't fuck with that. I cannot fuck with that. I'm going to need somebody that's going, when they hear they're going to really be here and they're going to really fuck with me and they're going to be loyal as shit. Y'all are not like that sometimes. Y'all really be talking like that. Y'all talk. Y'all good at talking. But like sometimes you're not good at walking. And that's something I cannot stand about y'all asses, okay? And then it's like y'all always just have to be pleased. Like y'all always have to feel, be stimulated. Like calm down and just sit in love, okay? Cancers. My Mars is in Cancer, so I can relate to what the fuck I'm saying when I say that Cancers can be so passive aggressive. <laughs> Y'all are some passive aggressive little bitches sometimes. Like, and sometimes I cannot take it. I can't even take myself sometimes because how, I'm, how I emotionally just react to shit sometimes just totally blows me the fuck a wall. <laughs> like, every Cancer I know is literally on their story always talking about some shit that occurred like 25 years ago and like it's like bitch get over it i don't like to be that person but it's like you know sometimes we do have to move on and i know things do affect us on a deep level but we just also have to focus on how beautiful our life is at the present moment and cancers can be just be very moody i i can relate i can be so moody like i can be so in my feelings and stuff like that and it's just like sometimes i feel like y'all get in your own way like y'all can be very dramatic like if somebody hurts a cancer it's like the cancer's like you know what i'm never gonna do you know ever love again and i'm never gonna get in this situation and you're blocking yourself from meeting the love of your life because you're so fucking scared that everybody's gonna out to get you all the fucking time you just have to be able to discern who's right and who's wrong leo's Okay, bitch. I, you, you're not hiding from me. I'm a Leo. August 14. Let's get it. I know exactly what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> Sometimes Leos can be know it alls. We can sometimes be know it alls. We can sometimes act like. You know, we know everything and that everything kind of revolves around us because we feel like we're the center of attention all the fucking time. And even when you're not the center of attention, it's like, oh my God, the whole world is falling down. Like, oh, London falling down, falling down, falling down. Here the go, go round and round. Oh, that's not even the right fucking tune. Anyway, a Leo person is the type of motherfucker to like, like somebody. And it's like, if somebody even dares look their way, they're the type of person that's like, don't, don't even dare touch, the, don't even look at them. They're mine. It's not in like a Scorpio way, but it's in like a really aggressive Leo way. I don't know how to explain it. Y'all can just be very possessive. And that could lead to insecurities. Or be translated into that, perhaps. Libras. Hey girl. Hey boy. Yeah, here's the thing about y'all though. I've known some pretty fake Libras. I know Gemini's get all that, you know, clout for being fake, but... I've known some pretty flaky Libras. Like sometimes you, a Libra will tell you this and then they end up doing this. And then it's like, you guys have way too many friends for me and I don't know if I'm special or not in your life. Like, do you even like me or are you just friends with everybody? Ooh, Scorpio. Possessive little fucks. <laughs> like seriously, low key, y'all can be like hella evil. Like y'all know how to find people's weakest points and you know how to, if you really wanted to, manipulate them. You know how to, you know, make them feel the most fucked up as they possibly can. And sometimes it's not even for a just reason, it's because your feelings were hurt because you cared too much. So it's like, you know, calm down. And y'all are always trying to have the power, especially in like relationships and shit and like, Calm down, once again! Yeah, but yeah, I noticed about Scorpios, y'all can be pretty freaking possessive in that way. It's pretty fucking evil. I'd still fuck. <laughs> you know, I love Scorpios. They are very passionate people, but that passionate can go passionate backwards and forwards. Like, that passionate can be in reverse and be passionate about the wrong thing. Oh, hey, Saggy Poo. Sagittarius rising here. Um, inconsistent. Not reliable. You know, Sagittarius is always exploring, and that is great and all, but can suck for people that actually care about you. Because while people are actually caring about you and giving a shit, 
you're just here for the ride. So you really don't always take in account people's feelings towards you. And I think you honestly know that you are such a dope person to the point where it's like, even if I lose this person, I'll find another one. Y'all are also very blunt people and I freaking respect that. I love that shit. But not everybody can take it because sometimes you can come off as an asshole. So, you know, be a little nicer sometimes. Actually, don't. <laughs> But, and just like figure it out like can you just figure something out and can we have something set in stone for once like that would be nice Aquarius oh my Aquarians my complete freaking opposite sometimes I love you guys and sometimes I hate y'all I really do because here's the thing about Aquarius is once again we have this little inconsistent attitude going on and y'all like it though y'all really like that shit though because when somebody shows you too much consistency it's like a part of you is like oh my god I can't like this person because now I know their every mood when they're just really just trying to get close to you but because they're so consistent with you you're just like oh you're too predictable now so I can't really fuck with that and then as soon as you have somebody that's kind of low-key treating you like shit you're like oh this person is all over the place. I like that. <laughs> Aquarians can also be like the hipsters of the room and they sometimes want to come off as the coolest person that's had the most life experience or done the most like weird shit in their life. That's how y'all come off at least sometimes. But y'all can be very detached emotionally and that's hard for people that love you. And I know it's hard to understand your emotions because it's it doesn't come easily to you to just express yourself a lot. But just try sometimes. You'll make somebody's day. Pisces. Oh, y'all can be so freaking pessimistic. Like, it's like one thing goes wrong and now your whole life is wrong because you had no plan really going on in your life. And then now all of a sudden when that plan of yours that you didn't really have doesn't really work out how you first saw it to, it's like now I have to give up on everything. Like, come on, Pisces. It's going to be okay. And you guys also could be inconsistent because y'all low-key just be living in this dream world. And it's like, hello, people are down here. Like, let's like, you know come up with some organization <laughs> and I know a lot of Pisces that have a lot of Pisces in their charts also seem to not know what to do with their emotions and it's like they they automatically assume that the best way to handle that sometimes is to go to drugs and y'all can be low-key drug addicts y'all can just be very just down negative people when you get into a negative rut like come on like lift yourself up like I know you see the best like let's get it and I talked about this in my previous video but a lot of you guys can be in this like in between thing when it comes to relationships with people it's like you can have a Pisces that's friends with two people and then you know those two people are arguing or fighting that Pisces friend is gonna go towards those two people in separate times and make it sound like they're totally sympathizing and empathizing with them and are on their side when really they're on both of their sides and not really trying to you go I guess bring it together they're just like oh yeah I'm with you oh yeah I'm with you too bitch that's not solving anything like that just looks like bitch choose something Taurus I'm a Taurus moon hmm <laughs> Oh, bitch, you can be lazy. Yes, you can be so lazy. <laughs> y'all can be very motivated. Y'all can be very motivated and on the right path and wanting to do something. But then, as soon as you're not motivated and like you know you're not in that mindset of go getter, it's like you turn into the laziest motherfucker on the planet. Also, can be very very possessive. It's like, when it comes to people and things, those are my people and things, and those are only it. It's like, bitch, let other people have friends too. Those people that you're, you know, friends with or dating, they have friends too. They're not just yours. Other people know they exist and know that they're a great person, and that's okay. It's all right. We don't have to be possessive like that. Well, maybe we do. You're not touching my man, bitch. Also very stubborn. Like, it's like, if you guys get into a negative space in your life, it's like, you're gonna be there for a while because you ain't gonna listen to nobody until you kind of get off your ass and say, actually, I am gonna get out the situation. That could be a while because you move so goddamn slow. This is like the perfect placement that stays in relationships way longer than they need to. Oh, we can make this work. You're cheating on me or you're an asshole. Yeah, you can just be a dick, but I feel like you, I see you can change and we can make this come together and like, you know, it's not working. It's not supposed to work. Leave, leave, leave. 
<laughs> Y'all can just be very like like that sometimes and that's not like the best for you and for your mental health. Coming from a Taurus moon, I understand. Cappy, Cappy, Capricorns. Caps can be super shy. I know a lot of caps that are like, I have no friends, I'm so shy. But then when they're in public settings, they don't talk to anyone. And it's just like, you keep on whining about not having friends, but yet you don't talk to anyone but like your two friends. Which is like, you know, that's okay. Like I don't have that many friends either, but it's just like, you know, it's kind of counterproductive. And y'all can also be very stubborn point where it's like, okay, your opinion isn't the only opinion that's out here, sweetheart. Like, let's see things from a different, a different perspective now, shall we? Okay. Those were the 12 fucking signs of the zodiac and why I don't like you. I hope you enjoyed this fucking video. If you're fucking mad, please comment down in the comments. Yeah. I surprisingly love you guys. Don't take any of this too harsh. It's once again, obviously, Jalen, and I hope you enjoyed the video.